Hey, what's up, guys? Long time no see. Sorry I haven't been uploading. Um, there's nothing wrong. I just felt like it was time for a new update video. Because, honestly, I don't know when my next video is going to be. Um, because I have I have some plans for some videos, but I can't really, like, do them right now. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about, like, what, what's going to happen, what I'm going to be uploading. And just keep you guys in the loop. Because I feel like I talk a lot with my Twitch guys, you know, about what um what's happening and sometimes i forget that you know i also have youtube even though you guys the youtube guys just recently actually surpassed the twitch guys uh, i now have more youtube subscribers you know followers and i have twitch followers uh so uh thanks thank you guys i really appreciate it thank you so much that's really nice for you um would be cool to reach uh, a thousand uh, subscribers this year but uh, it's just it's it's whatever oh maybe we do it maybe we don't i don't really care i'm gonna just i'm just gonna keep making videos but anyway so this video what i'm gonna be talking about is mostly just what's up what i'm gonna be making i have videos just you know general update about what's good in life hope everybody's safe hope everybody is uh taking the right precautions for this whole corona thing hope people not actually you know hope people are doing good hope people aren't too stressed about this and uh is taking one day at a time and uh, are being healthy about it and being cautious, but still, you know, living your life and doing your thing. I really hope that. But yeah. Um, and then after that, I think I'm just going to talk about a thing um, I really want to talk about. And I feel like this is a good video to also talk about. And that's the Guilty Gear uh, uh, netcode update. <laughs> but first of all, before we can talk about the Guilty Gear netcode update, let's talk about this YouTube channel. What's going on? And I'm just going to have some Seth gameplay going on in the background, as you can see. And yeah, it's just going to be some rounds, some games I played. I feel like it went well. And it also ties together to why there hasn't really been any YouTube videos. Um, so I'm in the middle of trying to make a learning Seth um, series this time. Not just a, I usually I've been trying to do these videos where it's like learning skill and learning um, Kage and learning... Um, What's the what's the one? I'm forgetting. I did one more learning. Can't remember now. Sagat. Sagat. Sagat is the last one. Uh, I've been doing these videos where I've been doing like an hour video of just me going through everything you need to know to have a basis, basic start with Sagat. You know, you get through, you know, kind of how to use the buttons. You know, kind of like a strategy. You know, kind of like a... yeah, Just a, a basic foundation for you to build your character knowledge on is what I'm, I'm trying to do with these learning series. And... What I discover is people in the comment section is like, thanks for the video. Uh, any tips for combos? And I'm just like, mate, if you go to the 20th minute, minute of this video, there's literally like different combos with the character. And that's fine. You know, I get it. It's on me for not making the right format. It's not on them for, you know, not wanting to stick around for an hour. That's just how it is. So... I'm going to be making a Learning Seth series. I'm not going to make it as detailed as the Learning You. Maybe I will. I really like Seth. I really, really like Seth. <laughs> but um, he's the first character since Yuri and I'm having so much fun with playing. Like, I, I had I have fun playing Sagat and I had fun playing G. Uh, but not in the same way I had fun playing Yuri. And I would always, always return to Yuri because I felt like, Ugh, I can't do this stuff with specifically Sagat. I didn't give G too much of a shot. I kind of I kind of dropped him for Sagat. Um... Um, but Seth definitely feels like a character where, like, I'm not really sitting back and saying, oh, if I had Urien, I could do this to counter it. It's more, um, oh, if I did this with Seth, I would have won. And that's such a good feeling because that means the character actually has depth. It means that character has the tools to be good. And it means I understand how I want to play the character. So I might play a lot of Seth. And you might see a lot of Seth videos in the future. So if you're a Ur Urien-specific guy... I'm not saying I'm not making Urian videos anymore, and I'm not saying I'm done with Urian. I'm just saying I'm kind of at a crossroads right now, and I'm just going to be straight honest with you. If you don't like that, I'm sorry. If you want to go with me on the right, and honestly, if you're playing Urian, you should try Seth. <laughs> but Seth is, a, Seth is a lot of fun. But anyway, um, so the reason I haven't been uploading videos is because I'm working on making this Learning Seth video. But in me trying to make this Learning Seth video, I kind of want to do it right. I feel like I rushed learning guild video a bit too much i feel like i didn't leave anything out i just feel like as i actually said this and i think on a reddit post actually that 
that um, that if you make these learning videos too fast, you end up missing out on a lot of the good stuff that you want to know. But also, you want to make these videos fast because you want the clickbait. You know, what you want the guys that don't really know that want to play the character but don't really know how they want to play the character. And if you don't get them at the start, they're gonna stop playing the game. You know, because they don't have any like any way to learn how to play the character. Um, so I tried to rush out the guild video to get those, you know, viewers, but it just didn't pan out. And uh, that's fine. That's just as I hit the microphone in frustration. I'm kidding. <laughs> that's just how it is. Um, so the learning guild video was a really good learning experience for me. Uh, I learned that it's better for me to take my time and do a video right than, um, than rushing it out because I want view views. The, the guild video, I don't feel like it's a bad video, and I still feel like you can learn a lot by watching it. I just feel like it could be better. <laughs> um, in terms of how, like, in terms of the level of detail I talk about in the, in the, in the, um, in the video. So, that's what I'm doing with Seth right now. I'm really working my butt off trying to get good with Seth. I'm trying to actually, like... I don't just like, oh, I feel like I understand Seth on a little where I can talk about it from a theoretical point of view. And I felt like I had that with Gil too. But now I'm really working on the character to the point where, okay, I'm gonna get master slash grandmaster with this character good, you know? That way I have a deeper knowledge of the character and I can talk with more confidence about the character and how you should play the character and what you should do. Uh, well, not how you should play the game. Well, Give you advice to how to play the character. So that's what's going on right now. And it's just me actually grinding Seth. Because honestly, even though I love Seth, it's one of the hardest characters I've had to learn to play. <laughs> so, which is a kind of a bummer because I really love the character. But I also like the challenge. I really love the challenge. It's a long time since I felt the motivation to get good in fighting games. Like, like, like playing online for the last year, uh, all of Season 4... Playing Yuri in season four wasn't really that fun because I felt like I felt like um, the main driver for me to get good was tournament. So whenever I was playing online, I was just like, eh. and I just started not giving up. Damn, <laughs> I was about to swear. I, was, I started to just not give a damn, and that's not good. And I feel like with Seth, I'm back to giving a damn. I'm back to like. I'm losing a lot of points trying to get this play this character on ranked. I just jumped. I literally picked up the character, played the character two days on casuals, then I jumped straight into ranked, and I've been losing. I was I was like uh, floating around grandmaster, uh, low grandmaster, and now I'm at super diamond as was, as this video is uploaded. That's quite a drop. I don't really care that much because like I'm kind of well ranked. Ranked is kind of meh uh, in terms of like you know online is kind of a mess right now. Uh, the whole netcode situation and stuff, it's, it's just kind of a mess, so I'm just usually just, I'm just really using rank and online to learn how to play the character. But I still like, you know, a part of me that's like, Ugh, I want Grandmaster back. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not satisfied not being Grandmaster. So, that's basically the reason uh, there hasn't been any YouTube videos, is because I'm really trying to deep dive into Seth and really trying to get an understanding for this character before I make that video. And I don't really have any other videos planned right now. I have one video planned. I might upload it if I find the time. Um, but also, I want to do that really... I want to do that right. I want to do that video really, really well. So I know it's it's such a huge video for me that I'm kind of demotivated starting it because I know as soon as I start it, I'm not going to do anything else than focus on this video. And I know it's cause it's going to take at least three days of pure work to get this video right. And I, and I kind of... I'm kind of... I'm kind of kind of scared of it but yeah so that's that's just the update i wanted to talk about that's that's the thing i wanted to talk with you guys about um and the reason why there hasn't been any videos and i just wanted to let you guys know there's nothing wrong everything is good and i hope you're good and i hope you are well you're watching this and thank you to everybody that has been subscribed that has been subscribing i hope you really love my content i really appreciate it love you guys just as much as the twitch guys okay I'm not picking favorite. It's just easier for me to click the, you know, the, the stream labs, click on, click on uh, OBS, click live, play games with Seth. Then it is to, for me to sit down, press record, and then go through a, edit a video. 
and that goes through like and i'm still looking if if there's anyone out there that's watching my videos and like hey i think i would would like to try being an editor i think i i know how to be an editor i would like to edit his videos let me know it's a paid gig i'm not gonna try to freeload it. you are gonna get a decent hire for this if you are out there and you want to do it of course i don't have to like approve your work you can send me some like there's a lot of my twitch what's but floating around. I think you can download them straight from my Twitch channel. So like if you want to do a compilation video, show me some of your editing, editing skills, go ahead. Um and last but not, not least in this video, I just kinda wanna say uh, talk about the Guilty Gear thing. I am so excited for that Guilty Gear game. I remember uh, if you guys remember remember I made a video uh, in November, I think it was. November, December. Uh, it was called Three games, three fighting games to get excited for in 2000, in 2020. And I remember the first guy, and I remember those comment. I remember it very clearly. I showed on screen. Um, he's saying uh, a lot, something along the lines of like, um, uh, Grand Blue isn't gonna have um, uh, rollback netcode because it's an access game, and uh, I, and he seriously doubted that. Uh, that uh, Axis was gonna make Guilty Gear, the new Guilty Gear, a rollback game. Of course, he also hoped it was gonna be, and you know, like, it is a fair argument. Axis has never made a rollback fighting game ever. Uh, so, it, of course, it was a bit out of the left field. They actually did it. And then we also talked a bit about the League Fighter, which I'm also very excited for that game. For multiple reasons. I might even I might even make a video. In this meantime, while I'm playing a lot of Seth getting good, I might make more of these, like, kind of, like, just talking videos talking about like because I, I also kind of wanted to make a video uh like why you should be excited about the league fighter because i feel like a lot of people in the ftc don't actually know why they should be excited about the league fighter why they should be excited about riot making a fighting game so i might make a video about that you know why you should be excited about the riot fighting game and that's a whole other topic i can talk your ears off on but anyway guilty gear strive having rollback netcode is so huge for me because I'm on, like I play a lot of online, you know. I'm I'm part of, I'm I'm part of part of the people. I talk about going to tournament. I talk about improving for tournament. But I play mostly online. I don't really have an offline scene. I uh, I get all my offline practice when I'm out of tournaments. That's why I love going to tournaments. Uh, so when I'm not at tournaments, I play at home online, and that's a lot of online practice. That is at least ten hours a week spent playing ranked in different fighting games. Uh, sometimes twenty hours a week. Between 10 and 20 hours a week play, playing fighting games. I play a lot of fighting games. I love playing fighting games. <laughs> uh, so, I kind of put my hopes down for Guilty Gear because of the netcode situation, how they handled the Grand Blue uh, whole release thing, and how they how I heard about Grand Blue netcode just being like any other access game, and how, you know, like if you guys don't know how, how people usually use online in uh, access games like Guilty Gear Third and Dragon Ball Fantasy is, you know, you find a group of people through a Discord, and then the Discord has, like, a matchmaking bot, or you just do an ad, like, hey, I want to play, and then someone will say, hey, I'll play you. And that's good and fun. It can be good at fostering a community of players that love each other, but that's just not what I'm looking for. I hate, uh, I don't hate the process, but it's just not good for streaming. It's not good for entertainment, but I'm going in, like, like you guys don't really want to watch me go into a Discord and say, hey, uh, Seth player looking for match and I find some random random guy and I play him in a first to ten. That might be entertaining if I do like you know if I do my friends with like if I do with Phenom or something like that. You guys might want to watch that, but you might not want to watch it if it's um, uh, I'll mention a, a middle you know like he's known in the Euro European FTC but not known worldwide like Gulag. Gulag is a good player. He's really good. He's solid. But he doesn't have the name behind it, so you might, you guys might be less interested. Um, and if I just say I'm playing ranked and I start points on stake, everybody loves watching people lose points or win points. They love it. They get invested in that. So I really love that about that. Like, like as bad as ranking systems are and as bad as matchmaking can be in fighting games, there's just uh, some, something really fun about watching people play ranked in fighting games. So... The game having rollback means that the Discord group stuff isn't really going to be as necessary because the online in-game is probably going to be good enough to, with a decent matchmaking um, to be able to play games online where you don't need to know the person in advance to be able to know you can play him. Uh, which means 
a lot more random uh random people you play which means there's a lot more variety in the people you play which means it makes it more fun because it's not the same old people all day every day <laughs> so that is the main reason i'm excited for guilty gear strive to get netcode i hope you guys are ex as excited about guilty gear as me because even though i know the game is very different especially if you love guilty gear i know the game can be very different and i know that can be off-putting for some i really love the guilty gear series i'm personally hoping for the best for it and i hope really hope i like the game and i'm probably gonna make some videos uh, about the game when it comes out uh, and yeah i'm just really excited about the game the rollback news are such good news for me and i'm i'm ugh, i just want to play it i signed up for the beta i'm so excited i'm gonna be I hope I get into the uh, closed beta. I'm going to stream that closed beta. Oh my god, it's going to be so good, guys. You have no idea. Um, I'm genuinely excited about this. Um, I'm, I'm very, you know, Scandinavian, stoic. You know, not sh don't show a lot of emotions uh, unless I get mad. So I really hope you guys can understand that I'm actually really excited for this. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys... Uh, enjoyed some of the gameplay in the background. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah. Let me know if there's any videos um, you want me to do. Because I kind of... I'm, I'm sitting on some video ideas. I, I write them out down in my phone, you know. Like uh, uh, what videos I want to do and stuff like that. But I'm also interested in yeah, like, like what you guys want to see. And don't say give me matchup videos, please. Because I know you guys love matchup videos. But also, nobody watches matchup videos. <laughs> it's it's one of those, like, because I see you guys, like, a matchup video I do with Yurian, okay? It gets around three to 500 view, views, okay? Because it's, 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 and like any other tech I post with Yurian, because Yurian is the best guy I know I can do it, gets around, like, a thousand views. That's half the views. And that's because it's too specific. It's too specific. Uh, matchup videos are really good and really helpful and really can elevate people's play. But they're just so specific that only like not everybody needs it. While everybody needs to know how to do a specific combo or setups and stuff like that. Because a specific setup you can use against the whole roster. Whereas uh, tech against Rashid you can use against one out of what 37 characters. So... I'm not saying I'm done making uh, matchup videos because sometimes I like doing them. Just like PSE, PSAs, you know, like public service announcements. You should do this against this character. Get at it. Uh, but yeah. Let me know if there's anything you guys are interested in. Any kind of video you guys want to see me do. I'll happily help. And I'll happily try and do it. Um, not promising that if you type it in the comment box below in the comment section that I'm going to do it. But I'm going to see your message. And I'm going to think about it. And I'm probably going to write it down. And sometime in the future. Maybe first in a year. Who knows. I'm maybe going to sit down and do it. I have done some videos in the in the past. Uh, by. Uh, comment section. You know someone said. You should make this video. And it's like. You know what. That sounds like a good idea. So it's not out of the question. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Um, you don't need to stay inside, but don't go outside and be close to people, you know? <laughs> and just, um, yeah. Hope everything's fine. Have a nice day. Oh, and if you're new to the channel and uh, you just subscribed or you're on the fence of subscribing, please subscribe and thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It is, uh, it's very nice when people, you know, show that they like what you're doing. See you guys. Bye.
Don't you dare call me detective! Final round. Fight! No holding me back! Wins.